Hello everyone and welcome to this video on setting up EOS version 1. And it's been a long time but finally we have the long awaited EOS version 1 here. So in this video I thought I'll show you a new updated video on how to set up EOS on your computer because the last video that I did have been outdated since I made that so that no longer works it isn't applied to this new version of EOS which we will be running. A lot of you probably ask, Philip, where have you been? You haven't made a video in forever and that's true and i'm sorry but i have a good answer as well that's because we have been doing an eos course well a smart contract course i've been developing developing it together with my good friend ivan on tech uh, here on youtube and many of you are subscribers to him as well and many of you have also purchased and enrolled in the course which you can find at coding.ivanontech.com i'll also link it in the description if you want to learn smart contract programming I've been spending a lot of time on that and now we have released it and I have a lot more time on my hands to do fun EOS videos here on YouTube as well. So let's get into it. We'll begin like previously on the EOS GitHub page here, github.com slash EOSIO slash EOS and we're going to copy this URL here so that we can clone it. We can clone it uh, to uh, our local uh, computer here and you can choose a folder here which you like since I already have it. In another folder cloned already I'll, i've created a new directory called eos vid and in here i will run git clone the url for all, followed by the recursive flag and hit enter and depending on your internet connection this can take um, some time or it can go quickly but i'm going to see you back here when it's done all right so when that's done we have another git command to run here to update all the sub modules so git sub module update dash dash init dash dash recursive uh, oh yeah, we got to get into our EOS directory here first. So let's um, change the directory there and then run that once again. So that didn't have any someone to update for me. Uh, when that's done, we can go into git. Uh, we're going to check out the tag that is version 1.0.1, 1 .1, I believe, which is um, just so that we can run the same version throughout this video. So git check out tags slash, let's see, v... 1.0.1 there we go and then we can uh, run the build script from here so we'll run the let's see dot slash eos io build dot sh and this will build the entire eos uh, package here and you may have a lot of uh, a lot of different plugins or packages that you'll need to install before this can be done so you should just uh, if the, you get a question if you should, should install them or not you should of course install all of them and this might also take quite a long time depending on uh, your computer and what you already have installed but i'm gonna wait for this to finish you can pause the video and let it install and then i'll see you back here all right so i'm done here and it didn't take me too long 18 minutes which is, which is quite good actually uh, Let's uh, go into the uh, build folder where we're going to run sudo make install and you need to enter your password. And this can also take uh, some time, but pause the video and I'll meet you back here. So now when we run the um, make install command, we should be all good to go. So now everything is installed and is put in the right places. So now we can go to whatever folder we want and we should be able to run, for example, Clios, which is the command line interface tool for the EOS blockchain. And we should also be able to run NodeOS, which, which will be the last part of this video, is to get our single node local blockchain up and running. At the moment, we do not have any mainnet up and running yet. So we will still run our single node local testnet in order to test our smart contracts uh, locally. And this is done with the node os tool and this has also been changed since the last video so uh, there are a few changes first of all that we uh, generate the uh, genesis.json file the information about the first block ourselves and this is the first thing that we're going to do we're going to run node os uh, dash dash extract genesis dash json and then the file uh, name so genesis.json you can pick this as whatever you want genesis uh, philip of the json it doesn't matter uh or you might also want to be in a folder which you maybe is relevant so let's step into eos 
be here. Uh, and then we'll run node OS extract genesis json genesis uh, dot json. And it says fail to initialize here. I don't think it's a problem because it looks okay to me. Genesis json, it looks, uh, looks fine to me. We only need to include this file the first time we run node OS. Uh, when you fire it back up, if you shut it down and you fire it back up later on, it will uh, have saved that information. But the first time we run it, we want to run it like this. So node OS, and then we want to have some flags. We want to have the dash E flag, uh, the E flag for enable stale block production. Uh, and then the P flag to set the producer name, which is egos.io. And then we want to uh, provide our genesis.json file. So dash dash genesis dash json and that should be our newly generated file here and then if this is the first time that we run it well you only include this file the first time that you run it and when you're including this flag you also want to include the delete all blocks flag since we need to start from the genesis block and after this we want to have some plugins and we specify a plugin with the plugin flag and then the name of the plugin so this is eos io the first plugin is eos io uh, chain dash oh sorry underscore api underscore plugin and then another plugin so plugin eos io history history api plugin so those are the two that we will need and then we can go ahead and click enter here oh fail to initialize segmentation fault let's see what's going on here Oh, we need to have, sorry, two dashes before this plugin here. Dash dash plugin. Hit enter. And there we see our block producer going up here. So you can see all of this. They're producing blocks and we're all ready to go. And with this up and running, we are ready to get started uh, developing EO smart contracts. So this is the first step, getting set up with all of, uh, uh, all of these uh, tools. So in the next video, we're going to look at the Clio's command line tool and how to build our first Hello World smart contract on this version 1.0 of the EOS, uh, EOS development environment. And of course, we're going to depth in the uh, EOS course, in the smart contract course that I'll link in the description. Uh, on this YouTube channel, I'll uh, give you some, uh, some videos on EOS as well, but it's not going to be as in-depth as in the course. So you're not going to get the same level of support, of course. We are dedicated to helping our... Uh, students over at uh, over at our smart contract course but i will try to keep you as updated as i can here on the youtube channel because i really enjoy doing it but this was the first update of uh, the eos version 1.0 and i hope that you've enjoyed it i hope that you've learned something and i'm looking forward to seeing you in the next eos video stay tuned guys